finally love. Child. <laughs> Dang, I'm trying to get this too. Okay, yeah, that's Hey, I have not been live in forever. I'm finally live after forever and a day, but I'm back. We both in the mirror, <laughs> right? I'm telling you, girl. I just came on to do a natural, like, light face. Hopefully my lighting is okay. I hate, I love my backdrop, but it kind of, like, changes my skin tone. So I don't want it to be too bright. But let me finish out these brows because your girl look crazy. <laughs> just want to do a natural look today. Not natural in like, I'm still going to have full coverage foundation. But I just want to, you know, a natural look for my hair. It's a natural little something, something, something. But how's everybody doing today? I am amazing. Well, I feel amazing. I said, let me get up and be productive. So she's here. She's here. She's here online. And yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick little one, two, one, two, one, two. You know how it goes. I don't want to do anything too full. So yeah, let me just back up out of here. Well, how's everybody doing? I forgot to put my earrings on. I forgot to do my sides. I didn't mold my sides, but we're going to get to that later. But how's everybody doing? Let me get my concealer to conceal my brows. I want to do a kind of soft look. No eyeshadow and a no eyeshadow look. Let me see. Yes, a no eyeshadow look today. So... Get into it. It's hard to conceal these brows. Conceal the brows. 
Yeah, you know it's like gonna be a simple look because I have no contacts in. I can see <laughs> good enough, but my contacts really do help me see. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little soft one, two, one, two. But how is the weather? The weather in New York is weird. It's cloudy and then it gets sunny and then it goes back to being cloudy. So yeah, we're gonna just get these brows on. That was the can't stop, right? Can't stop, won't stop. Nope, this is the NYX HD concealer. It's not can't stop, won't stop. I thought it was. My Ulta clothes, so I'm just using up the little bit of stuff I have. Um, thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl, I've been gone, girl. I haven't, I'm lying. I haven't been gone. Thank you so much, and thank you for tuning in. I have been on Facebook trying to get my Facebook followers up because that's the only um, outlet that I don't really go, do anything on. You know, Instagram, I post my pictures, and you know, YouTube, I do the tutorials and I do, you know, my makeup lives. I don't have anything on Facebook, so I just decided last week we're going to tap into that Facebook family and get it going. So, um, let me comment my Facebook name. I'm going to put it in the chat. It's Miss. Let me take that. 29. Okay, so I just put in the chat my Facebook name. Hopefully it pops up. But yeah, Miss Dainty Diana 29. I've been going live there. Just because, you know, there it goes right there. Just because, you know, like I said, I'm trying to tap into that Facebook community and we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna take my foundation. This is NARS and this is in Moray. So M-O-R-E-A. So M-O-O-R-E-A. Morea, not too sure. But I'm not gonna do any makeup on my forehead because my bang is gonna cover that. So I'm just not gonna do any makeup on my forehead. So my forehead gonna be covered with my bang. So, but yeah, I'm just going to conceal the top of my brows. And that pretty much is going to be it for the brows because you won't be able to see the forehead, so. Okay. And I'm using a MAC 248 brush to do this. And then I'm just going to blend it up. And that's pretty much it for the forehead. Now, I've been using a lot of color. Well, on Facebook, you guys haven't seen it. I've been using a lot of color, so I actually want to do a natural look with this hairstyle. The, hair, the video is up for the hairstyle. I mean, it's not up, sorry. The video is ready to go i just haven't uploaded it which is so weird because usually once i do the video and i edit it and do everything i just put the video up but for some reason i didn't put this video up i'm going to put it up i just haven't usually i put it up on sundays sunday came and went and the video is still on my hard drive which is so weird to me but i'm gonna put it up I'm gonna definitely put it up. And then once I comb, like, cause everything is curled right now, so, you know, it looks, it don't look like nothing, but trust me, when I comb it down, it gonna look like something. So yeah, so let me just finish this brow. So I always want everything to be soft. So I'm already prepped and primed. So this is the foundation I'll be using, the Moray. I'm going to take my foundation sticks. Yeah, foundation sticks from Juvia's Place. I've been loving these. They were $10. I think they're still $10 on sale. I'm not too sure. This is in Brasilia. B-A-R. Sorry. B-R-A-S-I-L-I-A. -I, -I, I told you I can't see without my contacts. But yeah, this is the color. So I'm just going to put this under right here. And you know I like a bright under eye. So we're going to work it all the way out. We definitely want to get it together. So I'm just going to put this under. I think I'm going to do my face first. I never do my face first. But since I'm doing a very natural eye and like no color, no shadow, I'm going to go into my foundation first. So this is a first for me. Usually I do my eyes first. 
So I'm just gonna do that. You know I love my foundation sticks from Black Opal. So we are gonna grab those. I don't know what color I'm gonna grab. I have a bunch. So let's see, whatever my hand picks up is, I believe this is suede mocha, my tried and true. So I'm just going to contour first. We're gonna contour, we're gonna get up in here. Hopefully I'm not too zoomed in. Let me zoom out a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna get this face together. I'm back on the nail gang. You guys already know I love my nails. Yeah, I had to get them back. I was just, I missed my nails so much. Had to get them back. The next thing is my foundation. So I'm just gonna put it here. And I'm gonna put it here. A trick, my trick to a flawless face is, especially for the heat, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my God, this is her, Um, I can't, I told you I can't see today. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So I spray this all over my face first. And I'm gonna start to blend out my contour. So with brush, we're gonna use contour. So this is a real techniques brush. So we're gonna do this first. I know I look crazy, but bear with me. Anybody that knows my channel, you, you know she be slaying. So we're just going to blend out. I have to pull this foundation down. I don't want my foundation to get mixed in, so I'm just gonna blend my foundation. Okay, and then we have the contour. So we're gonna do the foundation first. I was gonna blend the contour up, but we're gonna do this first. And then I'm gonna take this all over my mouth. I have my mirror and I'm still not using it. I can't. So we're gonna blend it. Good afternoon, Diana. Hey, Maddie, how are you? So we're just going to blend this out. Gotta be careful, do not get that contour in your foundation. You do not want that. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna blend my contour. It doesn't feel weird being on YouTube, but I haven't been live in so long. So yeah, we're just going to blend the contour. And I'm going for a full coverage natural look, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Meaning I want the skin to be flawless, but we're not going to do too much to it. So just, I, and this is my favorite, but I love this brush. So we're just going to blend. I know, makeup is a process. Usually, especially with this hair, I'm like, you got to wait, you know, you got to trust the process. I feel like the hair always brings out makeup and vice versa. So we're just going to blend. But how's everybody doing this Monday morning? Is it morning still or is it afternoon? I think it's afternoon. Okay, so now that we have that, I just want to make sure that everything is blended. So you see we get in that blend in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some concealer. I'm going to take my MAC concealer if I can find her. So this is my MAC concealer in NC45. So I'm going to cut my cheek. I always do this. Always cut it. You don't want that contour going too low. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that out with my foundation brush. And I'm going to pull it down and then I'm going to blend it out. If you want, you can pull it to your mouth and then just work it down. And as you can see, like it's cut and then we're just going to blend. Go back in with that contour. Okay, we want it blended. I'm not gonna worry about the under eye because we won't get there. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this concealer from e.l.f. I've been loving this concealer. This is the hydrating one. I can't use anything matte under my eyes anymore. My under eyes are super, super, super sensitive and they dry out. So this is medium sand. 
So I'm gonna put this here first and I'm gonna let it sit here while I'm blending everything out. You want the concealer to almost dry down so you can get full coverage. So in the meantime, I'm going to let that dry and I'm gonna blend out my contour. And I'm going to blend out this highlight. Okay, so you're gonna get this flawless face. Oh my god. I'm not gonna do too much with my forehead. The only thing I'm really gonna do is this, just right here. <laughs> just make sure that it is blended where you, you like people can see it. So I'm just gonna blend right here. Cause with my hair and the bang and mm -mm, I tried it and I didn't like how it felt with the makeup and it kept rubbing against my forehead. I did not like that. So with that being said, I'm just going to cover what you guys can see and the forehead will be clear of makeup, okay? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some concealer here because I always need extra coverage. It's right up in here and I'm gonna let it sit. Don't worry about it, it's gonna, it gonna work out, it's gonna work out. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little bit more contour but this time, I'm not going to put it on my face. I'm going to take the brush. I'm going to get it. And I'm just going to stamp it where I want it to be. And I want to contour up in here. And I didn't get a shape up. Child, your girl is struggling. But it's okay. Go back in with, put that back. The key to makeup is make sure you put things back where you found them. I used to have a crazy makeup desk after my lives. Not anymore. I'm putting it right back. <laughs> so, yes, we're just going to blend. Okay, so I'm going to take the same brush. And I'm just going to blend around my mouth. And we're going to cut that contour right here. You don't want contour next to your mouth. So, we're just going to cut that. Okay, this is where you want the contour. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dry this concealer a little bit because I know it is not ready. But you know what? I'm going to move on to my eyes. It's fine. I'm going to leave my under eyes. I'm going to take another concealer. Which concealer am I going to take? Let me take... That's too dark. I'm going to take, did I use this concealer? Yes, so this is the NYX concealer in CW. I'm just gonna put this all over my lid and we're gonna blend it out. Under my eyes are not dry, I know that for a fact. So I'm just going to conceal my lids with some concealer. Okay, and you're just gonna pat it. I may do, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do any shadow. I think I'm just going to pat it. We just going to pat. Yeah, that's just a little too much. Okay, so we're not doing any shadow. Just make sure you get it in the corner. I'm going to go in with a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Here and here. I don't know why they got this. Look, YouTube play too much, and you can't really play too much on YouTube. So, try. Okay, so we're going to blend this out. Okay, I, I don't know. For some reason, I still want to put some brown on my lid. I don't want to do any shadow today. Diana, didn't we discuss this already? No shadow? I don't think I have a shadow brush anyway. Nope, don't have a shadow. Oh, I do. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is what we have. Um, I'm just gonna set it with a powder. I'm gonna take my contour palette if it gets up. Come on. Okay, this is a contour palette. This is from Morph. This is the AH. And this is what the AH looks like. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. So I'm simple, quick, and easy. Right? Yep. And I'm just gonna go all over my lid just to set it. So as you can see, it's not gonna give you any kind of color, which is what I want. I just want everything really neutral. See, so it looks like skin. Perfect, perfect. Don't forget to get under the brow bone. Okay, so this is what we want. We don't want any kind of color on this lid. I struggle without, I struggle with not putting shadow on. So um, this is me making myself not put any shadow on. Okay. So this is what the eye looks like. Basically very neutral. And this is what we have. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my eyes and I'm going to blend out this concealer because it should be dry. And you're going to pull it down. I'm tapping and pulling at the same time. So you just want to make your way down. Okay. No, and I did not put foundation on my nose. I know I was forgetting something. So <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation. The NARS again. I'm going to put a little bit on the brush. And I'm going to put some foundation. I was wondering, like, why? I didn't put any foundation on my nose. I can't. So you just want to blend that in on the sides. Because the highlight is going to blend into it. And look at me going over my lid. But that's okay. I'm just going to tap that powder right back on the lid. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the other side. I'm going to get a smaller brush just to get right up under my under eye. Because for some reason, this brush won't work for that. So I'm just going to tap. Okay, you want to tap, 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 tap. Okay, I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to blend out that edge. So just around here, we're going to blend. This brush, oh my God, this is my favorite brush of all. I don't, it doesn't have an, it's a crown brush, but it doesn't have a name. Cause it just does the blending for you, like blended, unblended, ridiculous. So I'm just gonna take whatever's left and just make sure that under here just has a lot of coverage. Cause under eye has to be really clean and crisp. Well, to me anyway. Okay, the next thing, next side. I'm going to take the foundation, the foundation, wow, the foundation brush, and I'm going to pull just on the edge. And then we're going to tap. So pull and tap. So pull down and then tap. So it's starting to look blended as well. Don't forget the sides. I'm going to go back and we're going to tap. The key is making sure that your concealer is dry. Not dry, but almost dry. The drier it is, the more coverage you have, and I love coverage. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm gonna contour my nose in a second. Whatever's left, I'll just tap right here. Go and blend. Your foundation brush is going to be your friend. Make sure you use her to blend her out. And most of my friends say, Diana, why do you get on live and tell people how to do their makeup? I'm like, to be honest with you, I love to share. 
And what works for me may not work for you, but it's okay. I have many techniques that I use, so it's okay to, you know, sharing is caring, it's fine. I'm like, makeup artists get on and show you how to do their makeup. Hairstylists come on and show you how to lay a frontal. Nails, you know, nail techs come on, they have nail tech channels. I'm like, you can, you can show stuff, the person's not you. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get a little bit more concealer right there. Which one is it? This one. I want a little bit more coverage right here. And right there. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it and let it get tacky. Just right under here. I need more coverage under there. So I'm gonna leave it and let it get tacky. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my contour palette I'm gonna, wait, first I'm gonna get a, some powder. Welcome back, I've been needing a makeup tutorial. Are you the usual reason why I'm so, girl, stop it. What, wait, 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 wait. You are the reason why this is not so girly funny face. Yes, where's the makeup girl? You can wear makeup once in a while. It's not going to alter who you are. Some people are so anti-makeup. Some people are so anti-bundles. I'm like, live your life and, you know, do what you feel comfortable with. And thank you for welcoming me back. I know I've been gone. I'm just looking for my powder. I've been gone. I have been gone. I have been gone for a while. Okay, so I'm going to take my NC43 powder YouTube just is making me pay this music. I just, I, I'm, I'm so over it. Okay, so I'm going to take my Studio Fix powder. I love, I need to get some more of them. I love the skin finish from MAC, but I don't have one bright enough for my under eyes. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same powder and wherever I highlighted, but not under my eyes because I didn't blend that out yet. I'm going to just press that powder into that location. So we use highlight here. We highlighted here, and we highlighted here, remember? So we just wanna highlight, and right here. Okay, so the next thing is, I'm gonna go all over with this powder. This is dark from um, MAC, but this is the Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm gonna go all over my face with this first over my contour, over everything. So I'm just gonna stick here, since I still have to highlight and blend that in. So I'm gonna set all over with this mineralized skin finish. It goes all over your face. It's not gonna alter your foundation, it's not gonna alter your highlight, it's not gonna alter your contour. But I like to preset before I set all the way. Okay, so I'm just going to and this is what the powder looks like. I got a brush here. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yes. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is just re-blend that out because I just messed that up. <laughs> okay. So the next thing we're going to do is set our contour. Now, I've been loving these palettes. These are the palettes from Morph. So I am obsessed. So this is the one I'm going to be using. This is 8R. I'm going to be going into this one right here, and I'm going to set my contour. This is a MAC brush. This is a 139S. I like it because it's a dual fiber, and it's very, very fluffy. So it gives you an airy kind of look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently blend it. I'm not going to blend it too much because I still have to blend my under eye. But we're going to just re- enforce that contour because we just put our face powder over it so you just want it to you know have a little bit of something something to grab to so more contour less contour so we're gonna just do the same thing we're gonna tap it and flick it up i'm gonna flick it up okay okay and whatever's left you can go under your jaw Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I think my concealer is dry, but I'm not too sure. 
So I'm just going to try to delay that a little bit. <laughs> let me see. Let me try to blend it out. Yes. Okay. It's ready. I just wanted a little bit more coverage just right up in here. I'm not going to contour my nose too crazy, so I probably just use powders to contour. Okay, so just tap it. We're going to go back in with that foundation brush and we're going to just blend that edge. See? Just blend that edge. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget the size of your nose. I usually do. <laughs> your hand gets tired of blending. <laughs> So we're gonna take the foundation brush. I'm gonna go under everything. And it's not gonna alter the color. See, even though you have your foundation on it, it's still gonna give you that highlight look. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Cause we're gonna start to, we're gonna set. So I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set. So you gotta make sure that Everything looks good. You know I love my... I've been trying other setting powders and it's just not working for me. So I've went back to my banana powder. Can't help it. This is what my face loves. So this is what she's going to get. So I'm going to have something. Something's tickling me. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same... No, I'm not going to... Should I... Okay, so I'm going to take this brush. I don't know what this brush is. This is a Morphe brush, but it came in a set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to set under my eyes. So I have the powder here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look up. Sorry, I'm blocking y'all. So I'm going to look up. Blend a little bit more. Yeah, look up, blend some more. And then I'm going to take the powder Hopefully, I have the right side. Okay, and then we're going to just press it in. Press it, press it, press it. So, I like to press, then I bake. Sometimes you can't bake right. Sometimes I get it wrong, too. Sometimes the, the brush just has a powder sit on top, but we're just going to press it in. Don't forget the sides of your nose. Gonna press okay okay we're gonna do the same thing on the other side we want to get the powder make sure you get the powder and you're knocking off the excess you don't want a bunch of powder on your brush trust me okay so I'm gonna do the same thing and then I'm just gonna make sure that I have it <laughs> and then we're gonna look up and you're just gonna press it in Okay, after you press it in, now you can go back in with more powder. You don't have to knock it off. And I'm going to bake. So now we're going to bake this face. We're going to bake under the eye. Like I said, my under eyes are, they're not dry. But it can't take too much baking. So that's why I set it and then I bake it. Sorry, I set it and then I bake it. Okay. I'm going to bake here. gonna bake here okay okay so now that we have our baked areas oh we forgot over here okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my nose. I didn't set my nose before. So we just want to push the powder in and then I'm going to powder contour on top so that it really stamps it in. Okay. 
okay okay so now we're gonna take that same contour powder this actually has a color this is well it says brightener and bronzer so we're gonna take the this color here and I'm gonna contour my nose actually I'm gonna mix these two I'm gonna mix them and then I'm gonna use this mirror and we're gonna contour the nose okay I'm gonna contour into my brow, just right here. Just right in that nook. Okay, right in there. Just to give the face some definition. Don't forget to contour right here and bring it down. Okay, so you want the nose to look smaller. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buff that away. I don't want it to be too strong. Okay. So we have the nose contour. The face is coming together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wing. Because we're just going to do lashes and wing today. So this is the super precise eyeliner from Essence. You can get this from Ulta. I think it's like four dollars so i'm just going to look in my mirror and do my wing and i like to look straight my eyes are hooded so i like to look straight when i'm doing my liner when i'm doing my lashes everything i just look straight I don't want a super big wing today because I don't have one shadow. Usually when I do shadow, my wing is more um, bold and extra, but not today. Okay. I like to pull my liner from the inner corner of the um, tail of my eye and pull it out and then pull it back in. So we're going to do the other side. Keep your eyes open so you see exactly where your wing will land. I used to use close my eyes doing my wing and it didn't work out. Why? Because it was lower than I needed it to be. I needed to I needed to see it when my eyes were open. Get some more liner. I swear, I could see, but chill. I'm just not trying to mess this wing up. I think this is, I'm gonna have to open a new one. There we go. Okay, I think we're looking good. I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right, so that's the wing. Took longer than I wanted it to, but it's okay. Okay, so the next thing is I'm gonna take this brush. All my brushes are MAC for some strange reason. I literally pulled out all my MAC brushes. This is a MAC 138. I'm going to take my Studio Fix Powder in NC55. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. This is NC55. 
and I use, let me show you the one I use under my eyes. So the one under my eyes is NC43. So NC43 for under my eyes, cause you know I love a brighter under eye and this is NC55. And that's gonna go all over. I'm gonna actually use this powder to knock off my baking, but not under my eyes. So I'm just gonna take the powder and I'm just going to press that in. I'm gonna take my foundation brush for under my eyes and I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. It's a trick to blending in the concealer and you won't get any flashback from the setting powder. So I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. Okay, so the face is getting sculpted. I feel so weird because I don't have a shadow on, but girl, you don't need shadow all the time, Diana. I have to talk to myself sometimes, okay. So this is what we have, the bake is off. Okay. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit. I got a brush here. Come on, what is going on this side? This side just wants brush hairs. Okay, so we're just going to blend that. Okay, so the next thing is I have baking powder under my eyes, right? Okay, so what you could do is take the same brush, sweep softly. And then we're gonna take our foundation brush and we're gonna press it in. So I'm gonna show you the difference. Okay, so pressed in, the powder is still sitting there. You see the difference? This, it just blends everything in and you won't get any flashback from banana powder anyway. But if you did have a powder that you loved and you didn't like it because it gives you flashback, try this idea. And no, the brush isn't wet. It's not wet, but it's not dry. So it's just gonna blend everything in. Okay, so this is what we have. So if you wanna go all over everything, you can. I'm gonna have to tighten up my wing because of course I went over the wing. Can't. So I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my contour brush and I'm just going to blend it. Okay, so I'm gonna fix my wing because it's gonna bother me. So let me fix that, just the tail of it. Just right there, it's like just bothering me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spray my face because I've used powders Usually I will use like my Dermablend powder or I'll use a translucent. I'm not doing all of that today. I actually want a skin-like look. Usually I still get a skin-like look because I drench with um, setting powder, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna have a natural face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to not use any setting powders. You know, I love my No Color Ben Nye. I love all of that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this spray this is from morph this is their luminous spray I'm gonna cover my eyes because I just did my um I just did my contour I just did my wing okay and we're gonna get some hydration back into the skin okay and I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just going to press Press that setting spray into the skin. I'm gonna spray something else. I just love setting spray, so yeah. Okay, so the next setting spray I'm gonna use is my Mario Badescu. Cover my eyes again. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. You're gonna press that setting powder into the skin. This will give you a more skin-like look, especially in person. And then I'm gonna highlight and I'm gonna put some blush on. What blush am I gonna put? Let me get my blush palette. So this is the blush palette from Playing the Makeup by Yolando. So I'm gonna use that as my blush. Okay, so the face is pretty much 
done because I did a natural look. I where's my banana powder? Okay, I did a natural look. I didn't do anything too crazy. So the next thing is I'm going to choose my blush. I don't know what I want to use. I think I'm gonna use these two peaches. This one and then that one. So these two right here. And I'm gonna get a blush brush. Okay, so I'm gonna use this MAC brush. I swear I have all MAC brushes today. 135. So you can use this to contour and you can use it to blush. So I'm just going to get both of these. And you wanna be careful, this blush is, there. this palette is very pigmented. So I'm just gonna take my time. And you're gonna smile. And you're just gonna add a little bit of color to the cheeks. This one has way more color. Okay, so we're gonna blend it out. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Thank you guys for the likes. I truly appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna just add a little bit. Okay, I wanted it to be even, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back in with my contour brush and I'm just going to blend that in. Because I don't want such a bright, um, <laughs> like, blush. But it's okay, because you can just push it into the skin, so it's fine. Where did you tutorial on the hairstyle? I absolutely love your hair. Oh, thank you. It's it's sitting on my hard drive. It's sitting. I don't know. I was supposed to put it up yesterday, and I just didn't put it up. But it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And thank you. So I'm just going to take, this is um, the 8H contour. I'm going to take this color. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm just being extra today. Okay. Enough of that, enough of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight. I'm going to take another MAC brush. I can't. The 137. And I'm going to take this highlight from Dose of Color. I have two here, so I don't know which is which. So I'm going to take this highlight. It's called Gold is the New Black. And this is what the highlight looks like. This is this is doing too much. It's way too much. So I'm just gonna take it. And I'm gonna just hop it right here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pop it right here. That's bright. <laughs> So I'm just gonna blend it out with my um, contour brush. Just blend it down a little, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to blend it out. Blend it down into the blush and the contour. Okay, so the next one is, what am I gonna spray on my face? I don't know. Um. Okay. So I'm going to take, you know, you know already, I love this. I'm going to take my Coconut Fix Plus. I don't know what's going on with that. And you know, I love to just... To melt everything in. In the meantime, I'm going to put my... You know, I'm just wondering if I can find them. Hmm. Huh. That's different. Okay, so I'm gonna put my earrings on in the meantime. I don't know what's I can't. YouTube just they make you listen to music like this or they're gonna copyright your video. Okay, so I'm just throw my earrings on in the meantime. I'm letting my face dry. I'm gonna let them dry if I can get this out. I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna pop my earrings on. I think I'm gonna have to touch up a curl or two. So I'm gonna put the flat iron on. So I'll be using my tried and true, my Babless Nano Titanium. I think this is a one inch. So I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna let that heat up because I believe I'm gonna have to touch up a curl or two. Most likely my bang. My bang is chopped up in layers, but you guys will see that. You'll see that in the video. It's coming, it's coming. Video is coming. I probably put it up tonight. Who knows? But yeah, the tutorial is coming on the hair, but I chopped it up. You'll see in the video. 
So my bang is like really heavy, but then it's really, really full and like layered and choppy, love it. So let me just get my earrings on if I can get them on with these nails. No, ain't happening, for sure. <laughs> oh, my nails won't let me be great. Oh. Nope. So we just gonna have to hold it, you know, let it do its thing. Won't it won't go in. So with that being said, I'm just going to touch up the highlight. I'm gonna move into lashes. Oh, and my lashes and my lip glosses are on sale on the site. So let me comment that as well. Let me comment my site lashes and they're going fast i'm almost sold out god be the glory um let me just eat yes, 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 and let me just uh-oh dainty treasures and cosmetics oh i wrote it wrong dot com Okay, so I just commented my website, daintytressesandcosmetics.com, right? Daintytressesandcosmetics.com, yes. So my lashes and my lip glosses are on sale. Almost sold out, thank God. God is good. So I'm going to be using my Rare lashes today. Now, Rare is good for something like this. I don't have any shadow on my nose. It's tickling me, sorry. Rare is good for something like this. These are my Rares. So she's full, full lash. I love this look because the lash will not take away from the look. So since I don't have any shadow on, it will give me that oomph that I'm looking for. Now, if you have shadow on, I wouldn't wear this lash because I would want something that's more wispy and, you know, like will let the shadow do the talking. This For this look, I'm letting the lashes do the talking because I don't have any shadow. So, with that being said, I'm just going to put glue on my lash line because that's what I always do. So, I'm going to do that. Just on the, you put the glue on top of the liner. Don't put it on your lashes. Okay, so we're going to get some more glue. So, yeah, my lashes and my glosses are on sale. So if you need anything, head over to the site. I'm actually shipping after the live. So yeah, I'll ship after the live because I have a bunch of stuff I got over the weekend. I got a lot of orders over the weekend and I have to get those out ASAP. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm about to just jump into the lip. You already know my liners are in stock but not on the site. But I'm gonna do one of the lips, the lips that I've been obsessed with. I love two-tone lips and I love blending and mixing. So I'm gonna do that today. So I'm gonna take my 02 liner and my 08 liner. I'm gonna take skin tight gloss and I think skin, because I haven't done that. I haven't done skin tight and skin. So this is skin. This is skin tight. This is my 08 liner that's a dark brown. And this liner is literally the same color as my lips. And I love that because I could just put it all over, put the gloss in the center and your lip last. So enough of me talking. So this is 02. This is more of a mauve Let me sharpen her. She needs a little sharpening. This is more of a mauve kind of color. Let me see if I can show you guys the color. She's more of like a mauve so pretty and where's the other one I literally just had them where'd they go I can't oh and this is my 08 so 08 is a dark brown this is more of a mauvey brown so what I like to do is I'll take the 02 all over not all over but line my lip And it literally looks just like my lip color. Okay? Let me zoom you out in a little bit. So see, it looks just like my lip color. I love this color. But in person, you can see more of it. I don't know if you're getting it online. 
Okay, so the next thing is I'm gonna take my 08 and I'm gonna take a little bit of her. Just, just a little bit. And that's pretty much it. I'm so short. The next color, this is so I'm gonna be taking skin. So skin. And this is skin tight. So that's skin skin tight. I gotta put my lashes on. And skin tight is a nude. And I've been doing this with all my glosses. I'll take a little bit. This is zero two. So pretty. I'm so short. I'm trying to like get in the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna pop my lashes on. But I love a new lip. So see, this is a lash that commands all the attention. So I wouldn't do this lash with, with um, a liner. I, would, I wouldn't do this lash with an eyeshadow look. I would just let the lash do its thing. <laughs> okay. So let's get the other side. This one is like, I smushed this one the other day. So I don't know why she's acting like this today. I smushed her the other day. So this one I smushed, I actually sat on her. So excuse her, but she's still gonna, she's gonna do her thing. Wait, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna line this. I'm gonna put this over a little bit. Oh, I took my liner off, so. I'm going to realign her because she's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. And she needs to give like she's supposed to give. So let me realign this. I don't want to block y'all. Get it. I'm gonna get another rare because she's she's not giving what she's supposed to be giving. I'm not gonna use her today. She not she not giving me what she's supposed to give. That other one I smashed her. <laughs> she not giving what she's supposed to give. So we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch her up. Okay. So the next. So this is Miss um, Diana. This is Miss Diana Lash. Yeah, because the other one, she's she not giving what she's supposed to be giving. And she's, the, uh, this one, man, she ain't giving that. Let me see. Let me see if this is going to give what it's supposed to give. Nope. She ain't giving what she's supposed to give. Because they look better with shadow on. And I don't have no shadow. I'm so mad she won't give me what I'm what she's supposed to be giving me. That's so suck. That sucks. This one I smushed her. Let me see something. Give me one second. 
I think I'm gonna curl her because I smushed her like I said and I'm gonna try to curl her so I have this curler that is for 25 milliliter lashes so I'm going to curl her because she needs to give me what she's supposed to be giving me and and I don't like that she's not giving it to me so I'm going to curl her oh I think it's working yep it's working I'm gonna curl her Cause and I'm cause my lashes are up there and child, I'm not going up there today. <laughs> I'm not going up there today. All of my orders are packed and I don't want to go up there for a pair of lashes right now. Okay, so I'm curling them. I curled her as good as I could curl her. Let me see. She curled. Yes, yeah, she's curled. Okay, so I'm gonna put her back on. We're going to put back on Rare because she's acting right now. So I'm going to put her back on. We're going to put her back on. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. But she was acting real new and we need to get this lash on. So I'm going to put glue here. Oh, I went too high. Okay, slow down, girl. I need Rare to give me what, I, what she's supposed to be giving me. And she's not, she wasn't giving it to me. But I curled her, so we're going to work her on out. So we're going to pop Rare's back on. Get these lashes up out of here. Okay. 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 This is what she's supposed to be giving me real like I'm taking over right I don't understand what was going on but you know we're back to the regularly scheduled programming now the next thing to do is push this one on here now I lost my blazer again okay so I'm gonna pop this one on gonna pop this one off where is my what you call it oh, my tweezer everything on my desk is black and my tweezer kind of got lost but I got her okay pop her on oh sorry y'all can't see I always trim the inside of my lashes. Hold on one second. Let me get her on where she needs to be. Okay. She needs to be trimmed right up in here. So we're going to trim her. Yeah, I'm going to trim her right here. It's okay to trim your lashes. I trim my lashes all the time all the time okay so this is what she's given she's given real um over here taking over the world we're gonna push her down a little bit so this is what we have okay so the next thing is this hair let's get it going these are real girly vibes. Okay, so this is what the hair is giving. Okay, so my flat iron is on. So this is the hair, the mohawk situation. I need something moved. Okay, so this is the mohawk with the hair situation. I curled it off camera because it was gonna take way too long. I'm going to put some eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes just because i feel like i need it so we're going to ooh, drop something because you know if i don't drop something it ain't right so i'm just gonna get some black okay
Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some highlight. I just have that. Okay, I'm gonna take some highlight and I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna take this highlight right here from this 8R palette. So I'm gonna take this highlight right here and I'm just gonna put it in the middle. So I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna pop it right here. So we're gonna pop it right here. Let's get some more. Okay, and we're gonna pop it right in there. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna highlight right here. Okay. This highlight is not bright at all, but it could, it's gonna bring some light to the eyes. You're gonna highlight right here. Okay. If you have any fallout, just blend. Not with that brush. <laughs> if you have some fallout, just blend it out. Okay. Just a little in the corner situation. So when you turn your head, you know, you turn your head, you're gonna see it. I don't want there to be too bright. So I just popped that one on. Okay, so um, that was from the palette. I'm going to go on top of it just to be extra because we're here. And I'm going to take this one. The gold is the new black. And I'm going to take it. And I'm going to put it just in the center right here. Just on top of it. So you want to get that little glow. Okay. Y'all can see it now. There we go. Okay, you see it? Okay. Next thing is, I'm going to take the same highlight and I'm going to put it here. Just because I want to be extra today. Simple but extra. I'm just going to, I'm just patting it in. You don't have to rub it. Just pat it in. Okay, so when you turn, you're going to get that highlight. Okay. <laughs> Nothing on the brush, just blending everything in. Just blending everything in. Okay, so I'm going to touch up maybe right here. I'm going to touch up this hair. I razored this hair to the T. I'm so obsessed with this hair, but I'm not done with it. I have to do my sides. Anyone that knows me knows I'm very particular. I don't have a shape up. Hubby said that it looks better without a shape up, I guess, because he don't want to shape me up. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So we're just going to tighten up. Tighten up right here. I know what my next style is going to be. So I'm excited. But I just did this hair last Wednesday. So it's not even a week yet. So I'm not going to talk about what style is next. Well, I'll never tell you guys what style is next. You always got to tune in, tune in, tune in. But yeah, I just want to tighten up. Tighten up my um bang area. Okay, so once that's done, I shake it. And I zhuzh it, like. Ooh! Yes, you shake. Oh, and these are my bundles. These are my dainty tresses and cosmetic bundles. Y'all sleeping on my bundles. Look at this hair. Like stiff wear. But anywho, you shake it up and you judge out the bang. Okay. So this is the bang. Okay. So I did 10 inches of my 613, 10 inches of my straight black and 16 inch I have, but I don't have it on the site. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> if you message me if you want some, I'll hook you up. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take my brush. Looks he um looky here. Hey, hey boo-boo. You know your girl's back. You know she have to take a little hiatus, I have to take a break. So with that being said, um, you know, we gonna touch up this the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my clip and I'm just going to clip this out the way. So child, like I my I, my sides are relaxed. I just I just can't. 
they're relaxed but I just haven't been molding them because I haven't been live so this is the mousse so we're just going to take it and we're going to as you, you see as I'm brushing it it looks better okay so this is we, we get in the seat it's starting to look like uh, uh, okay <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do I still love my Nairobi but not for this my Nairobi is like liquid gold, so I only use her when I am styling. But when I'm restyling, you will be seeing me using the ORS. I'm obsessed with this. So, yeah. So, we're just going to comb it. Okay. So, you know, touch up the sides. So, now, see, see it looks so much better. My profile looks so much better. Okay. Alrighty, this is actually up into the mohawk, but we don't really, it don't really matter because I'm about to comb it down. So yes, so we will, you see how much better that looks on the side? You know, because we just have it slick versus like, ooh. Okay, so the next time, the next time, the next thing is we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Clip the hair away because you don't want it to get wet. And I'm just going to use one pump of the ORS okay this is a Diane brush this is the D8158 love this brush the black one I used to use back in the day I still have her that's actually hubby's brush and she's still going strong but I need something more um coarser to lay my sides down so this is what I'm gonna do I'm just going to touch up my sides Okay, touch up my sides. And you see how much better that looks? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. This style I really don't, I'm not really too fussy about my sides because it's a mohawk and you can't really tell it any, you can't, you know, tell anyway. But um, yeah. And then I'm gonna just touch up some of the curls move out the way for a second thank you okay but I love this this is too cute let me brighten this up a little bit it's a little brighter oh yeah I can see a little better yeah okay so this one has like one curl I don't like that on the side I like a two curl effect so we're gonna bump the top and then we're gonna come in and take care of the bottom Okay, so it gives you a two-layer effect. The next thing is, that's too oily. Okay, oopsie. <laughs> if I don't drop anything, if I don't drop anything, then the live ain't right. But anyway, um, so this is I, the IC Fantasia hair polisher. It's a heat protectant. I do not like it as a heat protectant. It's too oily, but I do like it as a finisher. Okay. And we're gonna pull this. Oh, I love this. I love this style. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna pull it with my nails, pull it up. You know, and you know, fix it back a little bit. But you want it to be messy. Okay? That's the whole key. Just shake your head. Pull it up and shake your head. I saw this live and drop everything I was doing. Hey! Wrapped in education. Come on! Love the name. Yes. I'll be back live. What's today? Today is Monday. When am I going to be back live? Wednesday. Wednesday, I started this live at 12, so I'll be back Wednesday at 12 in the afternoon to give y'all a little, you know, tutorial. Or maybe back tomorrow at 12. I don't know. Check in. Click your notifications. Click your notifications so you guys can know when I'm going live. Yes. But, yeah, this is the style. I'm obsessed. Super duper obsessed with it. This is my 613 10-inch, my 10-inch straight, and my 16-inch straight. You can pull apart the curls if you want to, but I don't want to. I like to keep them nice and full. So I'm gonna move back so you guys can see the look. 
And this is my everyday natural makeup because I ain't got no lashes. Excuse me. I don't have any shadow on. So when I don't have shadow on, I feel like I'm natural. Okay. To each his own. <laughs> but yes, this is the look. So cute. The tutorial. I'm going to drop the tutorial. I'm going to drop the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to recap. I use my skin and skin tight gloss from my site. I commented in the comments my website. I use my 02 liner. I used my 08 liner. So this is the lip combo. I always use two lip liners and two glosses. That's just what I do. My lashes are rare. My glosses and my lip, my glosses and my lashes are on sale right now. You don't even need a code. Like I said, it's in the description bar. I'm gonna put it in on the live. And I also commented on the live, so it should be somewhere in the comments. My website, I am shipping today. I have to print out labels when I get off of here. But yes, let me know if y'all need anything. You know, go to the site. They're on sale and they're going fast. Skin type, have to add a little bit more just because I'm extra. But yes, if you want anything, you know, go to the site, check it out. Lashes and lip glosses are on sale. No code needed. The last step is this. This is my airbrush flawless finish from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to shake her up and spray her. And literally, this is the look. I went from struggle to fabulous, okay? And um, yes. Oh, and if anybody wants to see my nails, these are my nails. These are my thumbs. Let me show y'all my thumbs. So this has glitter on it. So this is the left hand. <laughs> and this is the right hand. I'm obsessed with these nails, baby. But yes, if you guys need anything, message me. Check out the website. I'll be back live maybe tomorrow at 12. But definitely Wednesday at 12, I will be back on to do another look. And the tutorial will be up soon. So yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the live. And I will see you. I got my clappers back. I will see you in my next live. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm truly, truly grateful. Without you, there'll be no me. And I truly appreciate all the support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Yay!